So far, we focused on searching for documents. Now, let's dive into analytics. Analytics helps organizations find valuable insights by looking at the bigger picture and analyzing the data from a high level. We use aggregation APIs in Elasticsearch to perform analytics. There are three types of aggregations. One, metric aggregations. Two, bucket aggregations and three, pipeline aggregations. In this video, we'll show you some examples of metric and bucket aggregations. We'll cover pipeline aggregations in upcoming videos. To demonstrate how aggregations work, let's switch to a new data set, e-commerce sales data for 10 different products. Here's an example of the data we will use. Bulk API will help us to index the data into a newly created e-commerce sales index. Since we don't need specific document IDs, we allow the system to generate random IDs for each document. Now that our documents are indexed, let's start with some basic aggregation tasks, beginning with metric aggregations. Metric aggregations are simple calculations like sum, min, max, and average. They give us a summary value from a set of documents. They are simple calculations we use in everyday life, like finding the average height of students, the minimum price of a trade, or a movie's total earnings. Before diving into examples, let's look at the syntax for aggregations. Aggregation queries use the same query DSL syntax as search queries. The key point is that AGS is the root level object. For example, an average metric on the field price can be written like this. In this query, Average underscore price is a custom name for the output field. Once executed, it returns the aggregated result. Note that the response consists of all the documents returned. We can set size equals zero at the root level to stop the response from containing the original source documents. Suppose we want to find the total quantity of products sold. We use a sum metric. The sum metric adds up the quantities of all products. Response will look like this. To find the highest price among the products, we use a max metric. This query returns the highest price. We can use stats aggregation to return all basic metrics together, such as count, min, max, average, and sum. The response will include all the metrics count, min, max, average, and sum. Bucket aggregations, or simply bucketing, group data into different categories or buckets. For example, you can group people by age range, 20 to 30, 31 to 40, 41 to 50, movies by review ratings, or new houses built per month. Elasticsearch offers many built-in aggregations, each with its own way of bucketing data. Plus, you can nest one aggregation inside another. Let's see some examples of bucket aggregations in action. A histogram bucketing aggregation groups data into buckets based on a numerical value from all documents. For example, if we want to categorize products by their price in buckets of $50, we can use the following query. Here's a breakdown of the query. Price under score histogram, user-defined name for the report. Histogram, type of bucketing aggregation. Field, the field on which the aggregation is applied. Interval. The bucket interval, in this case, $50. The response is something like this, where each bucket has a key that is price range and a value which shows the number of products. In this example, the first bucket contains six products priced up to $50, the second bucket contains three products priced between $50 and $100, and so on. Range bucket aggregation groups data into specific ranges. For example, if we want to categorize products by their price ranges up to $50, $50 to $100, $100 to $150, and $150 to $200, we can use the following query. Here's what this means. Price under score ranges, user-defined name for the report. Range, type of bucketing aggregation. Field, the field on which the aggregation is applied. Ranges, the custom ranges defined as an array. When we run this query, the resulting buckets show the price ranges and the number of products in each range. The results indicate that there are six products priced up to $50, three products priced between $50 and $100, and so on. We can use a wide range of built-in statistical functions in Elasticsearch to perform rich aggregations on our data. 
We'll explore more of these functions in upcoming videos.